What's up, folks? Welcome back, Nerd Down on the Creek. We got a two-parter today. I'm gonna try and break it right up to two and a half minutes because I don't think either of these really uh, require a full five minutes. The first one. Some of you who have come into the gym in the last 48 hours may have noticed a slight little renovation or uh, reorganization of things. It is not because I'm psychotic or trying to make you uh, lose your minds that when you come in the door and you went to the right and you went to go get a caddy, there were no caddies because now they are over here in this cubby. Cubbies, caddies and cubbies. Ooh, that's kind of alliterative. The reason is we have 60 minutes with you. In those 60 minutes, my goal is to use all 60 minutes to make you fitter. If I'm going to ask you to use 60 of those minutes or any of those minutes, say two minutes to get a caddy, three minutes to go get a wall ball, five minutes to go get a dumbbell, one minute to go do something else, I'm chipping away at your ability to continue to get fitter and fitter. So the system that we had set up for say the caddies, right? Initially, it looked okay, they're stacked, they're organized, but the caddies stick together. They're a pain in the ass to separate. People wouldn't stack them, they'd actually just throw them. The bottles had to go in that stupid little bucket. They'd tip over, the bottles would leak, then you'd get a puddle of wet disgustingness in the bottom. Nobody would fill the bottles back up, blah, 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 blah. It sucked, and the experience to you as the athlete is distracting from your ability to have 60 minutes of fun. So if I can take back through just some basic efficiencies of layout, five minutes here, 30 seconds there, two minutes there, I can give them back to you in a little bit more mobility. Maybe an extra three minutes of skill work. Maybe just three minutes of laying on the ground longer at the end of the workout before you have to get up and return back to the world to start your day or to go home and make dinner or whatever else is coming on your schedule. So yes, I am psychotic when it comes to layout and organization. I love that stuff, but only because it yields some sort of return on that energy investment that I can give back to you, that our coaches can give back to you. So more is coming. Color coding of plates, labeling of dumbbells, labeling of shelves, all with the intention of making it easier for you as the athlete to get stuff and put it back so that you don't have to worry about that stuff and it's on autopilot. So stand by, you'll like the changes, I think. I'm gonna like playing with it. If you got ideas or you'd like, dude, I freaking hate that, fire them off. All right, that's part one. We'll see you on the creek, organized and clean. Part two, I'm gonna talk a little, uh, uh, a little honesty here. I am struggling to not do today's workout. Today is 2011. 11.3, the open workout, which was heavy squat clean and jerks. In 2011, I got one rep. I got one squat clean and then spent the remainder of that time working on trying to get 165 pounds over my head. Thought I was a pretty fit person. I was not at that stage as an athlete able to take something that I should be able to get over my head, but because of absence of technique, absence of skill, absence of ability, I couldn't. I spent the next year working on that and improved it significantly, but it was a wake up call to me. And I've always had this workout in my mind. It's like, Ugh. I've done it again since a couple years ago, maybe in like 14 or 15, I can't remember. But I was excited when this came out. I was like, yes. Now, earlier in the week, I hurt my quad going too heavy on that power clean complex. A couple weeks ago, I hurt my hip. And when I say hurt, like tweaked it, right? At this age, you're doing what you do and eh, you hurt things. I am struggling to want to do this workout today. I have my ego sitting on my shelf saying, come on, man, it'll be okay. But throughout every class I coached, I could feel things tweaking. I could feel that little twinge. And I'm trying to think to myself, hey, if I was an athlete in my class and I'm coaching me, what would I say? I would say, it's not worth it. Walk away, leave the ego at the door and do something else. And so I'm using this as that opportunity to say that, and I'm saying that to me as the coach and as the athlete, and I'm offering to all of you, this is a real thing. We all struggle with it. We think we should be able to do one thing. We 
feel like we can only do this. And there's this big delta that we get wrapped up in when the reality is this is fake, this is fake. Just do what you can. And showing up and just doing what you can is 99% of the battle to keep getting you fitter and fitter, healthier and healthier, so that you can walk out these doors and do what you wanna do the rest of the day. So as I say this, now I've gone a little long, it's my last 30 seconds, that's what I intend on doing. I am not going to do five minutes of squat, clean, and jerks. I'm going to do a five minute max effort on the Echo Bike. Go through the warm up, maybe do that complex, do the stuff with the class, but then push comes to shove, three, two, one, go. This guy's doing five minutes max calories on the Echo Bike. I should probably just do the squat, clean, and jerks. All right, thanks for that, appreciate it. Remember, cleanliness, is godliness that's weird no gear adrift horseplay leads to sickbay that's all i got i'll see you on the creek